Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and it is that time of the year, once again, San Diego Comic Con time, and it's right around the corner, and we're kicking it off early with a little trip to the San Diego Comic Con Museum in Balboa Park, thank you to everyone at the Comic Con Museum for having me for the opening of several new exhibitions, one featuring Stan Lee, one featuring animation, but the one we're talking about today, well we got 25 years Cowboy Bebop, and it is a fantastic exhibit. A lot of these posters, a lot of the first ones that you're going to see are on loan from Mondo. Mondo makes such epic posters, epic action figures, and coming soon, maybe we'll see something with Cowboy Bebop, right? So that will be very fun to see. It's going to be awesome. This poster in particular, though, it's very eye-catching, very striking. There's a lot going on, artistically speaking, but it's every bit the cowboy crew that you want and love right there. I love Jet just sitting there enjoying an ice cream. Very, very cool. Love that one. The next one up, of course, again, on loan from Mondo from Uto Maru. This poster in particular has that very cool old school Mario Nintendo look to it. And I love it. This, again, being one of my faves from the exhibition, all the characters are there ever present edge is looking so dang good and then with tom whalen if you don't know tom whalen shame on you how what are you thinking there come on fans of the lightning collection for hasbro's power ranger line you'll definitely know tom from the front of the boxes at least for the initial 10 waves we'll say very striking artwork i have seen his work from cowboy bebop on display before but it is always nice to see it you get two variants of his poster here and continuing on again some of these will be variants of one another right so by jj harrison this i can honestly tell you it's very well done but it's not exactly the type of art style i like to see not to knock it or anything but it's just one of those where i think that it would be on the lower end for me for a stylistic choice for cowboy bebop but equally it's as fun as seeing just the madness of the crew and they're all enjoying some ramen and who uh, doesn't want to enjoy some ramen from time to time right these next two are very eye-catching and very different while also being something so unique it's almost better to have both of them right next to each other right so you get the whole enchilada of what they're going for but it's lovely to see spike spiegel his big fuzzy hair his eyes in shadow as usual right cowboy bebop at the top I'm assuming, well, of course, right there. So you get Cowboy Bebop, and of course, everyone involved, Shinichiro Wananabe, Kiko Nobumoto, and of course, the beautiful musical score by Yoko Kano. There is no other animation, maybe outside of Batman the Animated Series with Shirley Walker. Yoko Kano's score is unmatched. It is fantastic. It is iconic. It is so freaking cool. I may or may not have the CD for Cowboy Bebop. I'm just saying. Maybe I play it in my car from time to time. But you get the idea. Tank is a fantastic song. Sorry to say, overshot that poster. I hope you guys enjoyed it, right? A little bit of a variant style. This one is very striking, very different. I dig the art style on this one. It's just nice to see different representations of the art style that you would see in the animation, but now put forth on to paper so this one is of course another cowboy bebop poster by Seishin tang that's the artist on loan from mondo piro lefou mad piro remember that episode one of the best episodes one of my favorite episodes spike spiegel going up against that madman who hates cats yeah we get the idea the whole thing culminates at spaceland which is an obnoxious disneyland right very cool going home that's a nice little title, right, for Hard Luck Woman, which sees the journey's end for Ed and Ayn as she rejoins her father. I love that episode. That is a fantastic tale. Ed and Ayn, the pair of them, what a, what a great camaraderie, right, with characters. That is so much fun to see. They were just awesome. And then, you, of course, you have Mushroom Samba, which <laughs> that episode is just classic it's amazing don't be obnoxious frogs about it you know what i'm talking about right one of those quotes that just sticks with you but like i said mushroom samba by the artist kiyosuk very cool very old school very much that 70s style which i totally dig and then up top the aptly titled the many faces 
of Ayn. And again, along with Ed, Ayn is just one of those characters that really resonates. He's adorable. He's the data dog. He ate a mushroom once, bounced around. He's fantastic. Even when he's going through all the files, he does so little, but does so much at the same time. Now, one of the episodes, and I'm going to tell you right now, there is no bad episode of Cowboy Bebop. All of them are spectacular. But a few you could honestly say, well, those would be on the bottom if you had to pick one, right? And Cowboy Funk, when Spike essentially goes up against his doppelganger, Cowboy Andy to stop the Teddy Bomber. It's a weird episode, right? Not bad, but just one of the weirder ones. The Bebop crew, of course, striking a pose. Spike smoking a cigarette. Faye doing her mysteriousness. Jet. Mad in the corner, and you got Ed and Nine, right? Very cool to see. Now, this one, Swimming Bird, right? Another one of those sayings that Spike would be called over and over again throughout the show. This one is very cool, featuring Spike Spiegel with all the doves, right? Lighting a cigarette right before he's about to take on Vicious, we could say, for the umpteenth time. Man, the Ballad of Fallen Angels. That, that's an episode right there, I gotta say. One of the top Top three, top two. Lady Luck by Mindy Lee on loan from Crunchyroll, which Crunchyroll, by the way, is now part of the Comic-Con Museum. That's a really nice signature right there. Just want to point that out. But you have Faye Valentine, hard luck woman, doing all her character tropes all in one go. Very mysterious, that old Faye Valentine. And again, you have Ed and Ayn, the data people, right? The ones that bring in all the different bounties and information covered in wiring exhausted from just doing that all day probably exhausted with dealing with spike and of course jet all day right but you got radical edward by artist mindy lee so that's very cool to see and then as we move on here we got spike by artist okazu which i really like these these are very striking very much in the vein of cowboy bebop especially in the art style i totally dig that very heavy on the inks you have Faye, and she's looking every bit as good right that looks great these are very simple character portraits but it says so much with so little and you don't need a whole heck of a lot of color all the time it can say a whole heck of a lot with just the bare minimum and i love the radical edward right here i love all the different ins and outs of the machinery that she's working on right that's very cool this right here, as simple as it is, it's just the writing, right? We kind of travel down here first. But you go from a very cool image of Jet. So you kind of have all of these all in one go, right? You got Jet, Faye, Spike, Ed, and Nine. Nice little collection of artwork right here if you really wanted to complete the set. But you can kind of structure these around by Cowboy Bebop in Japanese or go the full length and just... Have it say Cowboy Bebop. I love the writing on there. That is awesome. It's perfect. Very striking. That would be something I would put in the old collection room. But I got to say, Cowboy Bebop, 25th anniversary, which again, I can't believe it's been 25 years. One of my favorites, and I have to say pretty much my only favorite anime. I do like Fooly Cooly and Trigun and things like that. But Cowboy Bebop, I know the ins and outs. I know these characters. I've watched these episodes to death. And I absolutely love it. And I did like the Netflix show as well. Not everybody's cup of tea, but it was pretty darn cool. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you to everyone at the Comic-Con Museum for having me. This was an absolute blast. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as the end credits always say, see you, Space Cowboy. When we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.